What is up you guys, Ron here and welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode of GoPro Tips, I will be sharing with you 5 game changing features of the all new GoPro Quick. Let's get into it. Number 1. The first thing that you notice when you open the app is that Quick's home screen features a new mural that serves as a collection of all your favourite moments. The best part? It doesn't matter what device was used to capture that content. It can be shot on your GoPro, your phone, or even a DSLR, just like this collection of photos from my wedding shoot. What's more, you can easily save an image or video that you receive as a text from your friend into GoPro Quick. How cool is that? Well, let me show you how that is done. Step 1. Open the GoPro Quick app and then tap that bottom right icon to go into your media gallery. In your media gallery, you can select footage from your app, your cloud, or even from your phone. I am just gonna select a couple of footage that I have created a couple weeks back with my homies when I was wakeboarding. So tap and hold onto the image that you wanna select, and I'm gonna select a couple. This, 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 just me and my homies chilling. Um, couple of wakeboarding shots, couple of photos. Um, this and once you're satisfied with the footage that you've selected go ahead to tap that bottom left icon to add it into Miro 12 items created I'm gonna create a new event and that's it 12 items are now added into Miro and I'm gonna call it Wakeboard Tuesday that's it safe as simple as that now say that you want to add additional footage into the Miro that I just created like the awesome shots from my friend's DSLR. All you gotta do, tap that bottom right icon again to go into your media gallery. This time round, I'm gonna select phone and I am gonna tap and hold those image that I wanna add into Miro. So I've selected this five image and I'm gonna tap that bottom left icon to add them to Miro and to select Wakeboard Tuesday, which is the event that I just created. There you go, five items added to Miro. It's as simple as that. Number two quick auto edits the app makes it quick and easy for you to get the most out of your content with advanced editing algorithm quick auto edits and transforms your footage into amazing highlight reels just like what you're seeing on screen um, well if you want to do more go ahead to tap the thumbnail and if you are satisfied you can either save it or share the media with your friend uh, if not get creative by tapping that pencil icon and that will bring you into the editor. Once you are in the editor, powerful yet easy to use editing tools are available at your disposal. For instance, say that I want to reorder my clip, tap and hold the clip to drag it to its desired location. And if you want to fine tune it, go on to tap that pencil and you can do stuff such as trimming, reframe the clip, apply a filter or even do some speed ramp, which I will elaborate later on. Uh, next, select different themes for various transitions and effects. In fact, there are two new themes in this new update. One of which, which is Glitch, it's a more adrenaline action-packed theme. The next, Travel, it's a more quirky kind of theme, which is what I'm going to choose for this edit. Next, um, you can choose various music to select the mood of your edit. Um, let's go for something more action-packed since it's so much action here. Uh, next step, you know, you can adjust the timing just by a simple tap. The current video is at 1 minute 16. I actually want to do something for Instagram. So I'm going to drag the slider all the way down. Look, it says 31 seconds. Great for Instagram. Amazing. And the video re-edits for you. Last but not least, you can choose the aspect ratio for the edit. Because I'm going to share it on Instagram, 4 by 3 aspect ratio will be the ideal preference for me. And once I'm satisfied, I'm going to hit that save button and I'm going to save this edit. And that's it. You know, it's really simple to edit using the app. Now, if you are keen to learn more about the quick editing workflow, make sure you stay subscribed to the channel because in the coming weeks, I will be deep diving into this topic. Number three, multi-speed tool. 
The long-awaited Speed Ram 2 is now available on GoPro Quick and it is extremely intuitive. You can speed up or slow down multiple sections in a single clip. Let me show you how it is done. First of all, select the clip that you want to edit and then tap on that pencil icon and the Speed Ram 2. In the clip, what you want to do is to select an entry point and an end point. So I am going to select an entry point here as my friend is approaching me. And what I'm going to do over next is that I'm going to select the end point as he passes me and I'm going to select half speed. Next up, if there is a particular moment that you want to emphasize, you know, this particular moment here as he is coming to me and water is gushing out, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to add a new entry point here and I am going to select one quarter speed to slow it down further. And then I'm going to select my end point here, you know, as the water droplets is spraying all over me. Let's check out what happens now. Wow, <laughs> super easy. <laughs> Now, here is a pro tip for you. Say there is a particular moment in your clip that you want to emphasize, you know. What you want to do, instead of the speed ram icon, tap it again and you can toggle it to freeze frame. This particular moment right here, I'm going to add a new entry point and I'm going to freeze this frame for a second so people can absorb what's happening. Let's check out what, what happens now. Amazing. Super easy! Once I'm satisfied with this clip, what I want to do right now is hit the kick button and hit save. And there you go. The Speed Ram 2, as easy as it gets. Number 4. Filters and color grading option. Want to spice up your photos and videos? Apply Instagrammable filters with a simple tap. <laughs> Let me show you how it is done. First of all, select a footage that you want to edit. I am going to go ahead with this one and then tap on that pencil icon again. Next, hit that filter button. Once you are here, there are dozens of filters for you to select. Um, well, I want to show you my favorite filter. I particularly love this Asana filter because it has this vibey kind of feel. Uh, what you can do next, adjust the slider to adjust the intensity of the filter. I'm going to go ahead with something like 70%. Uh, if you want to see the before and after, just tap the image to hold for before and release for after. If you're satisfied, hit the tick. Next, I'm going to adjust this photo just a little bit. I'm going to bring up the exposure and I am going to bring up the contrast just a little bit. Finally, adjust the highlights. Just tuned it up a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Before, after. I hit the tick and if you're satisfied, hit the save. As simple as that. Go give it a try. Number Five, royalty-free music. With such a wide variety across various genres of music, you don't have to worry about finding the perfect track for your edit. Feel free to share this edit across various social media platforms because all these audio tracks are cleared for you to use as they are license-free. What's more, GoPro is always constantly updating this library of music with new tracks. FYI, there are 18 new tracks in this update. And that's it for this week's video, my friends. Quick is now available free for download on both the App Store and Google Play Store. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite feature on GoPro Quick. Until then, I will see you in the next update. Peace out!